What's up guys, S2H back in action once again, and last night after not playing for over a week, the Montreal Canadiens were finally back in action as well, and they did not disappoint. Dominating a very good team this year, the Edmonton Oilers are no joke this year, and yes, they are coming off a back-to-back, -back. they did play last night, but the Montreal Canadiens made no mistake in this game, they won every puck battle they could, they capitalized on all their opportunities, and overall they just looked like the way better team in this game, and the shot total alone will tell you that at the end of this. But in 18 seconds into the first period, the Habs get it going right away. Yasperi Kakaniemi scores assisted by Paul Byron and Arturi Lekkinen, but this all comes from a smart play by Brett Kulak in the Habs end. He ends up getting the puck off one of the Oilers, passes it up to Arturi Lekkinen, Arturi Lekkinen flies up the ice, passes it over to Paul Byron, and the Habs are on an odd man rush. Paul Byron passes it around Ethan Bear in front of the net, in front to Yuspiri Kakaniemi, who makes no mistake, burying one on Mikko Koskinen, who for the Oilers had a really rough night. 3.23 into the first period, Terry Lekkinen gets his second point of the night after going pointless for quite some time, or Terry Lekkinen has two points in this game. He scores assisted by Paul Byron and Joel Edmondson. Joel Edmondson takes a shot from the point. The rebound comes out. Byron gets the rebound, passes it over to Lekkinen. Lekkinen puts it in the net and makes no mistake. The Habs are up 2 to nothing, absolutely dominating this game. Then we go 15-58 into the first period. A beautiful goal by Brendan Gallagher. Philip Deneau wins the faceoff. Passes it back to Weber. Weber passes it to Deneau. Deneau puts a shot on net. I believe it was Deneau or Weber put the shot on net. But either way, there's three Oilers in front of the net and there's Brendan Gallagher. And who was the first player to get to the puck? Brendan Gallagher makes no mistake and puts that rebound in there. A typical Galley goal and a beautiful goal for the Habs. In the second period, there was only one goal. There was two goals technically, but one was offsides. It was an Edmonton Oiler goal, but it was called back because Jesse Priyavi was offsides, so that took away all Edmonton's momentum right there. And then Thomas Tatar scores a goal assisted from Brendan Gallagher and Philip Deneau. Brendan Gallagher makes a nice little chip play off one of the Oilers players' stick, gets it over to Philip Deneau. Deneau passes it over to Tatar, makes no mistake. The Habs go up 4 to nothing. They go into the third period. The Habs shut it down defensively. Barely, Edmonton, I think, got three, maybe four shots in the third period. It was an awesome performance by the Montreal Canadiens. And a lot of people were wondering if they were going to be rusty coming off these postponed games, coming off miss missing over a week. Well, after what I saw last night, they definitely were not rusty. But let's get into the numbers. The shots were 32 to 17 for the Montreal Canadiens. So the Habs almost had double the shots. They were only two shots off, double the shots what the Oilers had. The Oilers had 33 hits. The Habs had 23 hits. The Habs went 49% in the faceoff dot. The Oilers went 50.9%. So the Habs were 49 9.1% and the Oilers went 50.9% in their end. On the power play, neither team had a power play goal last night. Both penalty kills were awesome. Edmonton went 0 for 3 and the Habs went 0 for 4. Kerry Price was phenomenal. Of course, the Habs won 4 to nothing, so he had the shutout, but he had a really easy night. Like everything that he faced was pretty much an easy save, but as usual, Kerry Price looked sharp, he looked on point, and he stopped all 17 of the shots he faced, getting the shutout. Miko Koskinen, on the other hand, did not have a good game. He only stopped 28 of 32 shots, had a .875 save percentage, and that definitely does not bid well for Koskinen, who's fighting for his starting spot back from Mike Smith, who's been phenomenal this year for the Oilers. And unfortunately for the Oilers, they did not come out on top this game, but my Habs did. It was an awesome game. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. And uh, have a great day, folks. This is S2H, really fired up after this one. Go Habs, go, baby. Woo!